how to add discounts with Square. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a discount and manage them into your Square Online. The process is very easy. So you are going to head over app.squareup.com, then you are going to sign in into your account. Once you are here, you are going simply to see on the quick access online. So we are going to open up the Square Online, then we are going to see the dashboard of the Square Online in here. Now, how we can access the discounts? Obviously, when we say discounts, it is going to be automatically related to the item. So we are going to select items, and here you are going to select or see site items, site categories, or also coupons and etc. So we are going to head over the site item. So we are going to see that. So I think that it is going to be in here. And yes, it is going to be in here. So you can go ahead and access the uh, item or site items or click on the hamburger menu and click on items right there and it will take you to the library. Now from this left side menu, we're going to see some general listings, service, library packages, and etc. We're going to see the word discounts here. So we're going to select or click on discounts. And then you are going to see the discounts that are available. In my case, I have only one. So we are going to click on create a discount. So here you're going to start by putting a name for that discount. For example, here, let's say here, put or put 20 off, for example, 20% off. And the amount is going to be 20. So either you are going to put it as a automatic discount, but in here, I'm going to put it as manual discount off like this. We're going to name it just like that. So this is going to be uh, the name will be, uh, will be displayed or point of sale system as screen online sites Z. So you can uh, go ahead and put it as an automatic one or let it as a manual. The option here is going to be set up the uh, maximum discount value. So we're going to put it not up than $20 as you can see. And also you can go ahead and see uh, here some passcode um, uh, here applied in order to use that uh, coupon or you can go ahead and apply the discount after the taxes. When you finish, you're going to click on save and this coupon is going to be applied at the last uh, step for the checkout, which is going to have on the product. So do not forget to set up the items and also go ahead and create them as much as you can. And then do not forget to set up or compensate the, uh, let's say, discount within the uh, item itself. Now for the role of managing the uh, coupons or the discounts that we have created, uh, you can go ahead and click on the discount name that you have, for example, also for the options like that, select it, also set it up or uh, reset anything on it. For example, for the location, we can go ahead and uh, change the percentage or to an amount or a variable amount or a variable percentage. You can uh, put a discount rule, for example, for the automatic discount for a specific item or a specific quantity or a customer group, for example, and then you are going to set it up as like this, uh, set up also this one as uh, apply discount after taxes, then you are going to click on save and here we have it. Basically, that was all for, the, for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.